so um, I just took a trade few minutes back so I just took my first trade from my Galaxy uh, Fold 2 okay so I was struggling to take a trade searching the app and you know the screen is bigger here so if you see the same screen as seen here so yeah somehow I took and I'm trying to take screenshots and you know sending observations downloading the apps which I don't have and you download all the apps now so yes so anyways I thought recording again and I'm finding the record button and I don't know how the resolution will come it is looking a little bigger size right so I don't know how it comes in the video output so I will test it out so what I thought anyways I will record the video directly for my system as I reach back to Bangalore in my studio um, currently we are in negative first trade itself is negative it's okay I will wait um, 220.50 is where we took and the price is around 218.55 it's a very small stock so the movement is very quick it will be volatile the movement of up and down is more in stocks from 100 rupees to 500 600 and so on so when it is 100 200 300 the movements the volatility i would say not the percentage of movement see the percentage movement every stock end of the day will move four five percent equally but the volatility it can go two three percent one 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 two percent down and again go up so the volatility is high in these type of stocks okay so what we have to do is currently because the market has opened gap up and market has come down if you see market has opened gap up and it is coming down maybe a recovery is there in a small three minutes maybe five minutes is just starting to recover okay somewhere it's turning over here so maybe on a you know few minutes or five minutes range uh, every five minutes range maybe the market can go up so that time petronet also can turn from this swing to upper swing so during this upper swing even if it goes towards its own high of 222 then I can at least book some profit over here because if I book even one rupee profit over here, I will get 6,000 rupees. 0.3% is how much? Uh, so 21, 21, 21, almost 65 paisa if I hit 0.3% is done. So let's see how it goes. Petronet, if you see on a shorter time frame, yes, the swing has started. So I am trying to take advantage over here. Okay. So overall, if you see on a one hour time scale also, I'm a bit safe because the swing was just starting from the lower end so maybe on a longer run I am a little bit safer over here on a shorter run if you see on three minutes so if I put three minutes it's gonna recover from here the stochastic till now it is good if market supports then it is good if market again goes down this stocks will be pulled back okay. so I'm just waiting for the next swing either I will book close to above within this particular resistance currently now this is a resistance if this resistance break then we have upper move also so if you see this is the <clears throat> recovery what i was talking about so in the swing if i can say take some advantage yes it's coming back to 20.50 is a buy price and 4200 is around the current negative value but anyways the swing what i'm talking about even in telegram channel i just told when the swing was down in petronet i don't tell much on futures there but at least around 217 or something i just informed see if on a three minute scale will it take a swing or in a longer time should we wait and see so yet it is, it is recovering it's a good move maybe one or two rupee movement is there 60 paisa is 0.3 percent but anyways uh, i just want to see my trade uh, can it go up so i'll just close all these hmm. This is the point from which it has to go up and the high is 222.45 market has come down still no much recovery only one recovery one cycle went up it almost reached the top level if you see i don't know if there are technical traders who are trying to short from this area in nifty i don't want that effect to be on my stock petronet Okay, Petronet is moving good currently. You see, where Infratel is moving today. Okay, it's breaking its own high again and again. It's coming to its resistance zone. It went down a recovery. Same thing if it happens in Petronet, it's going to be great. You know, if it can go back towards its own high. So, guys, it's Monday and uh, you're seeing a video from. Friday what happened and then finally we are on Monday so I just got a few minutes back 
and uh, finally the stock has come up so like you know yesterday when the market closed it closed around 220 so my buy price was 220.50 so almost a 3000 negative in my account i didn't want to book my profit because um it's my first trade on my fold too also it's like a sentiment first phone okay one year i have to trade in this only so the opening bony itself is not good so i hold in my positions like always i hold my position because i'm taking normal order if it was a cover order i should have booked my loss or something or converted my position if i had money in this case i had taken normal order where i paid my full money for the uh, future contract full margin so this is the advantage when things go wrong when things don't go according to you or if you miss to book your profit 0.3 on the same day you will have an advantage to hold your position the next day in terms of cnc or in terms of futures this is one example for you guys because not always we will be 100% or 90% or 100% in intraday there are days everybody will go wrong because we are humans so once we go wrong this is how we can have certain backup to at least convert those position or average out the positions later part if things go more wrong that's what we have to do so that's when we get better i'm not saying we'll be 100% better at least rather than someone who's booking losses on intraday he can convert those losses to profit at least in these ways you can increase your accuracy so this is one example for you guys anyways it went up to 225.30 we have 6000 shares every one rupee movement will give you 6000 rupees so almost from buy price it has calculated two percentage up move so that is one benefit when you hold your positions if you hold in the right way you get a lot of percentage movement but i normally like booking my profits on intraday because tomorrow some bad news come in the overall market if market goes negative and the stock opens negative so i will lose all the profit which i made from yesterday day after what, two days or three days back now in this case it has gone up maybe i will book my profit in some time and then if possible i'll take one more intraday for 0.3 percentage and i will try to close my account so finally i have booked my profit i just set my uh, target to 24.35 because i saw the stock is going a bit sideways and also sliding down so it may recover above later part of the day or it may go down also or recovery can happen so therefore technicals and shorter time frame looks like it's gonna come down or it's gonna go sideways so i don't want to lose all that uh, no gains i got from the immediate jump from yesterday so i'm booking up my profit without much uh, waiting so i'll be uh, taking one more trade right now so i'll just hunt for a one more trade and then let you guys know so i've just taken a position in power grid if you see just now i just took around three lots okay so three lots for 12,000 quantity test and a buy price of uh, 166.40 i know it's the peak point of power grid so it's a high it's close to high so i thought i'll take a position and yes the stock is little bit of on overbought zone still but on a longer time frame if you if i look at on a two hour time frame and all uh, the rsi or the stochastic has not reached top so the swing is still on and uh, yes the waiting period may be more here because if i see on a shorter time frame of three minutes it's an overbought zone it can come down if I go by one minute, it's in again overbought or well, let's say half an hour is also an overbought. Anytime a correction can happen from here and the stock can come down and later part of the day, it will go up. So keeping that in mind, I've just taken an advantage on one hour time frame. It is uh, overbought itself or I would say in RSI, it is not overbought. It's still in 57. So maybe there is still some hope for me that there will be a small continuation in the movement or maybe the next candle or maybe three four candles because on a two hour time frame is what i check the technical so i have to stick to two hours candlestick um, in case i miss this candle next candle or next next candle has to push up and that and i can take some advantage of 0.3 so 0.3 percentage calculation will be 166.40 plus 0.3 so 49 paisa i'm going to add to this number so it's gonna be 166.89 so if i book around 166.90 i'll be done with my 0.3 percent target so almost it's like 50 paisa if i hit 50 paisa on 12,000 quantity it's more like a 6,000 rupees profit for 0.3 percentage in this particular trade different trade has a different value so in this 0.3 percent 6,000 is the value because i got three lots because the money required was comparatively lesser so if you see exactly 0.3 percentage that is 6000 rupees 
just like how we calculated and the highest touched 167 so 0.3% it has easily moved till now uh, so few minutes back we took right so time is around 10 40 uh, 9 so we are around 10 38 so almost 10 minutes back we took this particular trade and finally it is going so i can exit on a market order okay or else i can put a limit order also so market or limit order i can put but if i hit a market order now it's standing exactly near 0.3 so it can you know it needs 12,000 quantity in the bid side so this side will melt down and my buy or sell price will go down I need more higher price to sell on market or I can set 9.0 over here for 0.3 percentage target. So let's see if this can further break 167 or not because I have taken again a normal order so I am not panicking much. Uh, I am not taking a cover order here taking 20-30 times of margin but I am just taking directly normal order so overnight position order so I am just curiously waiting if this can further go up for the day hoping market is still going up okay so market once it open gap up it is still continuing to go up so there is some good news on the market which is driving it so maybe that would have an impact on these stocks which are actually moving for the day so i will wait for some time and see so the stock has gone up to 168 if you see over here 0 0.96 to 1 percentage movement we have got over here so it had more point three, so i didn't book it up to see the potential market is moving if the stock can move so finally it has hit 168 right now so let's see yeah so it's in the peak right now anytime it can again break or come down or profit bookings can happen because on a shorter time frame you see like from overbought it comes down and again a swing is there because a lot of buyers are there now currently so if the bias continues then we will have good spikes over here so i can exit directly on a market order also uh, because I have 12,000 quantities which has to be melt so 168 again 20,000 of them I put around 168 so it has to take down that also meanwhile uh, the market is still the upward journey a bit sideways now it is a bit stagnant if you see uh, there is no much breakout over here Okay, it's a double top right now a few quantities in the sell side profit bookings are going on on a limit order also so a lot of orders has been placed in this side overall the buying quantity has gone up to 13 lakh and over here it is 10 lakh which is not a complete picture like you know i've explained in my videos already so but still a rough calculation that currently there are a few lot of currently the intention is to push the stock above as of now we don't know when the profit booking will start the numbers may change all right it has gone up to 95 now 168 168.15 a spike out has been created here so it's a good sign enough of volume was there so nine nine lakh eight lakh only 8 lakh 96 only so a lot of buyers over here currently <clears throat> 168.10 is the current high i'm just trailing my profits over here <clears throat> okay so it made a sudden move to 20 going close to 25 30 Me keep a market order in hand just in case if the stock buy side it is one zero with eight thousand quantities i need twelve thousand quantities so okay I is two zero not yet broken Then 
a decision mode it is tempting me now uh to zero these things i don't like because inside you will feel that you can't explain those things okay i see a strong build up happening 12000 12000 16000 so if it can break maybe hardly few paisas maybe i don't know to zero can to zero break I want to put order at one zero. Come on, it's gone to two five, but the stock market price has not gone to two five. You see here, in one zero and zero five. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll set mine. Where is my order? Eight point one zero. This is my order. Getting hardly four thousand more. Oh, done. That's crazy. Okay. Anyways, I didn't get any pop. Uh, okay. One sixty eight point one zero. It has been sold. So we took around one sixty six point four zero. Point three percent was somewhere around one sixteen six point nine zero. Whereas we didn't book the profit because the stock was moving, and now finally it is coming a little bit down. So what we did, we took an advantage. I was just patiently waiting. When I say patiently waiting, inside there is a different feeling that you guys will get to know when you hold a position before exiting. So 168.10 is what we booked more than a percentage. So we have booked around uh, how much? Which is this power grid? So power grid, we have booked around twenty thousand rupees profit. We were planning to book point three six thousand. So close to more than one percentage profit, one percent on the trade. I mean, so the profit will be three to four. percentage on the capital so overall we made a very very nice profit of 43000 so i'm very much happy so either i will use few of my money for my um, remaining pending travel expense and also for my mobile phones money i will add it to that number so that i can reduce my um bill on my galaxy old so, <clears throat> anyways that was a decent trade which i took and the time is 11 o'clock So you can see here down also time is there on the charts. The time is currently trading near 11, 12, and 11, 13. So I don't want to take more risk because after 12 o'clock, you know, I'm not much comfortable. I don't want to trade much. Don't want to take risk because I've already got a lot of money over here. So hope you guys uh, are watching my videos continuously and hope you guys are getting motivated. All these videos are only for motivation because if I don't motivate a lot of people, they will not learn. Because if I do only learning videos, they don't understand the meaning. Why are they learning? The secret is if you learn you will improve and I'm learning from 8 and a half years now so I will continue my journey of learning I see every day some improvement in me so if you want to see an improvement in you go and learn from anywhere or from the smart trader family so subscribe to smart trader family see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye